Hey guys, Chris here, and today I'm teaming up with Sorry Girls. Hi, I'm Chelsea. And I'm Becky. And we're going to make a custom die cut wall shelf. I'm going to make one in the shape of Canada because this year is Canada's 150th birthday. The girls are going to make a Team USA version. Yeah, over on our channel we're going to challenge each other to see who can best replicate this tutorial that Chris is about to show you. Yes. So, I'm going to show you how to build it on my channel and then you can go and have a good laugh as you see these two <laughs> okay. competing against each other. It'll be great, it'll be great. <laughs> All right, so now it's time to get started. I've got 5 eighths MDF cut out to the size of my template. This template's gonna be available on my website. You can download it. If not, you can go to the Story Girls website and you can always download it from them too. Now, once you've got your template laid out, now it's time to tape it down and map it out with a pencil. Now get your jigsaw and cut out your path. So a little tip for everybody at home, when you're out there cutting with your jigsaw and you find yourself getting into those tight little narrow detail spots, here's a point for you. If you look here, it's because of these details being so intricate, it's hard to actually make that pass with the jigsaw in one swoop. So what I'm going to recommend to you is that you come back to these afterwards and we'll cut them out. Well, I've got it all cut out now. Next step is obviously doing the fine filing around the edges. And if you don't want to get that detailed, you don't have to. You can simply just go straight into painting and sanding and just get this thing ready to go. All right, so now our next step is going to be all about putting the shelves on. And now I'm just going to cut them to length. There's no rhyme or reason in the way I'm laying this out. It's all about just the style that you want to have on your wall. I'm going to do about three shelves and I'm just going to pattern them now. I've marked little ticks across Canada. And you'll see these are going to indicate basically the level points of where I'm going to put my shelf. So I'm transferring marks onto my 1x4 with the speed square. This will give me a straight line to come across with my circular saw to cut the lengths of the shelves that I need that I've marked off of the shelf. So my shelves are all cut out, a little rough on the edges. So I'm just going to take my sander and finish them off. Next up, I'm going to take the shelves I've just finished, I'm going to lay them out on the country, trace them out so that I can mark their spots. With all my markings on the board, you'll see I've got perfect rectangles. What I need to do now is indicate where the center is and do certain amount of locations for the drill. Now my next step is obviously drilling out these holes I've marked and then we'll dry fit the shelves with clamps. Using this hole that I've pre-drilled from the other face, I'm going to come from the back face now and we're going to go into the shelf. A dry fit, all done, everything's good to go. I'm going to mark the clips on the back of this. Next step for me, I'm going to stain and paint my country. I thought it would be a great idea to add a little bit more flair to mine. Other than being just a plain white backboard with some nice wood shelves, I thought why not add a stencil? So I'm cutting out a maple leaf that I just sketched out on a piece of paper using a nice utility knife or exacto knife to cut it out and I'm going to go hit it with some red and spray it out on my sign. Spray paint's all dry, everything's ready to go, stencil turned out great. Now, I'm just going to mount my shelves and get ready to hang this thing up. What you'll notice is I've got the screws just popping through just a slight bit. This is because obviously our lines aren't there anymore, but it's actually going to give us a location because we've pre-drilled all our shelves to pop them right back in place. There you have it. 
all finished. Pretty simple, a little time consuming on the cutout, but you know what? It's a fun project, and especially with Canada's 150th birthday, I think this one will look great on the walls. Did you like it? It looks so good. I cannot wait to make a USA version. It looks amazing. But also, mm, this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> it was harder than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah. You, you think you can handle it though, right? Yeah, we got this. Of course. You got right everything. If you guys want to see us make the USA version, come on over to our channel. We're going to challenge ourselves so you can do it better. Um, and subscribe if you're coming on over from our channel to Chris. Yeah, welcome, Chris. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.